So this is an interesting little inverter or transformer that I just received uh, yesterday and I've actually never seen one of these before. So what it is is it's a step down or step up transformer. So it'll take 220 volts, step it down to 110 or take 110 volts and step it up to 220. Very interesting. Uh, it's got that classic design. I don't think these are very popular in the States because I'm not really sure what single phase 220 you would ever need. Um, I could see, you know, European or whatever uh, wanting to take 220 and dropping it down to 110. Uh, inside is actually extremely simple. It is quite literally just a transformer a toriodeo transformer i'm not exactly sure how they rate it to 3000 watts i'd be curious to actually test that but uh there's no circuitry in here no nothing it is just a bundle of wires a couple of connections and then one transformer in the middle of course you got this light here it says 220 on there maybe that's just what the led is rated for i'm not exactly sure but uh yeah so pretty interesting little thing um you know on the on the front side here on the output side you can get 220 volts or 110 volts this is um gonna be a uh like a breaker output it says you can get out of l1 and l2 you can get 220 volts um although i don't know I mean, I guess if you were to direct wire it uh, into a breaker panel, a European breaker panel, that would work for you. Otherwise, you'd have to direct wire into a 110 volt or uh, North American breaker panel. It's kind of strange, actually. Um, it's how you would set that up. It'd be something very unique to to need to isolate this to hook it up to a breaker. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you out there know of an idea or some situation. And of course, on the back side, this is where your input is. So for me, I would just take the 110, plug it in using the regular connector that you see on pretty much all power jack inverters. And then that would give me the 220 volt out of these um, outlets here. If I were in the European market or somewhere else that has a 220 volt electrical outlet then i would just use that and that would step it down to 110 for use here um so i see this as being uh, more of a heavy duty kind of step down transformer uh there's plenty of step down transformers uh that you can purchase if you're traveling you know out of the country or whatever and you need something that's going to convert that for you they're usually limited on current though you can't obviously start something amazing but they're really their their point is is more of a travel thing you know you're in a hotel or something else like that you don't you're not going to obviously be running an air conditioner or a refrigerator or something off those little ones so this is kind of a different uh uh a market i mean i can't really see you taking this to a, a motel room or a hotel or something um you know overseas and, and trying to run 3000 watts worth of stuff off the uh, off the the room so yeah i'm sure that there's a situation for this a specific situation it's kind of neat neat little unit i'm not sure what's wrong with it i just received it so i got to test it but uh the only way that i can think of testing it is just plugging it into my my regular outlet um i suppose i do have an outlet on the uh, uh, big 15,000 watt inverter that I have that has a 220 volt output, I suppose I could just plug it into that and see if it gives me 110 on the other side. But this thing is so simple. You're just basically, if you have the connection on the 110, it wires it out to 220. And then if you wire it the opposite way, the 220, you're basically taking it and you're wiring it in the opposite direction to bring it down to 110. So you've got whichever way you go into the transformer is going to either step it up or step it down. Very simple design. Um, it does actually have a power switch here. The, the only thing I the only thing I don't like about this power switch, there's nothing that's regulating this. 
So you've got 3,000 watts possibly that would go through this this power switch here. This is literally the only thing that is breaking the connection. So I'm not sure if this switch is rated to 3,000 watts. Maybe it is. All the inverters that PowerJack uses here, uh, this exact same switch. The switch actually is not making or breaking the connection. It is simply telling the CPU that it's time to power up the uh, the MOSFETs and the main board, whereas this is actually breaking the connection on and off. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know if this switch is rated all the way up to 3,000 watts. I'd be curious to find out. Um, you know, if you got a huge draw on this transformer and you go to break that switch, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure. I don't. I literally don't know anything about these. This is the first one I've ever received. And I don't have any data on it, really. It just came with this uh, this piece of paper um, that just has, you know, some specs, kind of how to hardwire it, I guess. And then you've got the typical power jack uh, manual here. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, pretty neat little unit, very light. All the weight is in the transformer, obviously. Uh, pretty cool, but, um, yeah really different very very different so i uh I'm, i might get a video of testing this i don't really know what could be wrong with it to be honest nothing looks damaged um yeah so i'll find out it's got a little fan right here to kind of cool it down although it's one of those automatic fans so it's obviously using a, a uh, probably this thermistor right here is my guess to power the fan when it gets to 45 c PowerJack uses 45C thermistors pretty much in all of their inverters or products. So that's likely um, what turns on the fan. Although I think it'd be better to have the fan running full time. It's, just, it's such a small fan, there's no way it's going to use that much electricity. Me personally, I prefer to be able to control fans on or off no matter what inverter you have. That's just, you know, that's just me. Uh, that's a personal preference. So, all right, cool. Uh, neat little look at this uh, little, little unit here. Uh, so, yeah, pretty pretty cool little unit. If you have any questions, let me know, and uh, be sure to uh, help you out. Take care.